Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to a, another one of our SoCal first time home buyer market updates. Uh, my name is Stephen Mead with Domicile Real Estate, where we are on a mission to help California's renters become homeowners. And I asked the question, I'm throwing this out there rhetorically, are first time home buyers screwed? And I think this is in the context of are they sort of constantly maligned? Is it always going to be tough? for first-time buyers going forward. And, you know, the answer to this question is a little bit more complicated, but it was a colleague who asked it. Um, his buyers are asking about that. And, you know, it, it made me chuckle a little bit. One of the things that I think is important to understand is that while there are absolutely challenges to homeownership today, and many of these challenges are challenges that previous generations did not experience, those generations had different challenges for home ownership. Um, you know, before the Fair Housing um, Act of 1968, I mean, there was quite a bit more discrimination. That's not to say the discrimination doesn't still go on. Um, but I think today there's a lot more recourse. There's a lot more attention. There's a lot more focus on housing being fair for everybody. The other big change is things like just lending, the ability to have low down payment loans in larger loan amounts. You know, people used to save for years and years and years and years and years to get 20% down or worse. Only rich people who had generational wealth could get that down payment. It was very difficult for anybody coming up. So, you know, these challenges come and go over time. And I, I think that you have to look at your own situation and say, what are the ways that I can mitigate some of these challenges for my own personal experience? And that's really most of the time what we end up doing for people. We look at their situation, we try to find where the pain points are, and we try to solve those problems for them to make it easier to become homeowners. So with that said, we do have some market information and it is a little bit challenging. And once again, I want to remind everybody, um, you know, we operate a real estate brokerage here. We love doing these videos. We love putting that content out there for you. But we'd also love if you were thinking of, you know, becoming a homeowner in the Southern California area, we'd love to hear from you and be able to help you do that. So let's get into the statistics. I'm actually pretty excited because we've got some sort of unique things going on this week, things that point to kind of an inflection point, uh, maybe a bit of a change and a pivot. So we're going to jump into those right now. So the very first thing here is, is our pricing. So I want to just give everybody my usual disclaimer. This is based on where prices were negotiated four to six weeks ago. And four to six weeks ago was probably the time where I felt like housing market confidence was at its lowest. Um, things are actually a little bit better now. So if you look here, we have kind of a new relative low on this entry level single family home. We're at 740. Right, And I think if you look at that, that's definitely a little bit of a slight downward trend. I don't know how much more that's going to continue based on sort of the feelings out there in the market now. Interest rates have come down a little bit. If we look at our condo market, that's actually been remarkably stable the last few weeks. Uh, at 550, we've kind of just been for the last month or so been riding right in that zone, you know, that maybe is kind of like going back to end of March prices. Uh, same thing here. Where were we kind of seeing these kind of numbers? February, March is where we saw 740 last. I think that number will come back up a little bit. If we look at our total monthly payment, this is really where you see kind of some benefits um, happening. You know, coming down into here, we're actually just over $5,000 a month for our entry level single family home. Remember, that includes, it's based on 5% down, includes mortgage insurance, taxes, et cetera. Um, if you look here on our entry level condo, that's right around $4,100. This is actually down from our high points. I think it's important to kind of take note of that. And then our minimum household income required. So we're at $127,000 and change for our single family home and $101,000. So remember, this minimum household income is based on if you had no other debts, what income would you need in your household to qualify uh, to, to buy these homes with 5% down. And that's kind of how we arrive at these numbers. Obviously, in a dual-income household, uh, that's not completely unreasonable to think. Uh, both, If both people in that household, if you had two income earners in a household, both were at $65,000 a year, that would be enough to get into that entry-level single-family home. 
Here is where things start to look pretty interesting, though. We saw just really kind of a steady downward march since the beginning of year of absorption rate, right? That was a very gently cooling market that then really kind of took a tumble. But look what's happened. It's rebounded two weeks in a row. Now we're right at that 70% mark. Um, that's about how this market feels to me out there. Um, it is definitely back to maybe, you know, a, a fairly mild seller's market, but definitely a seller's market um, when we're looking at this. Now, I say this every time, every house is different. You're going to find a pretty wide spread out there in the marketplace. Um, some homes will have 13 offers on them and other homes will have two or maybe you'll be the only offer. So just, you know, be aware out there. This is one of the areas where, having kind of that individual expertise of a good agent on the ground is important. Now, if we look at our total inventory, right, this is another sign that things are changing. So our red line here is our entry-level single-family home. And, and honestly, for three weeks in a row, we've been stable and holding at kind of this 2,750 number. Now, that is a lot more than we had last year uh, for those entry-level single-family homes. But look at what's going on in this condo market. That crest didn't actually decline slightly. This is definitely a market that's either finding its equilibrium or maybe even bouncing back just a little bit. If we look at our 14 days still active percent, that number also crested and has fallen. And we're seeing similar things in our whole market. So this isn't just the entry level market where we're kind of seeing some of these effects. If we look at our overall level of relative inventory, right? This is inventory relative to the speed with which homes are going into escrow that relative inventory also peaked and has now started to fall a little bit. We are right around eight weeks of inventory for each. Um, that might seem like a huge number, but honestly, in the grand scheme, that's about normal. Where were we last year? Five and a half weeks on our entry level condo and three and a half weeks on our entry level single family homes. So the other thing I want to talk about is we are switching these videos. And if you watched our whole market video, we already went over this, but you know, when we started doing these videos, the market was very, very shaky. And honestly, I think, especially in the beginning of the pandemic, people just wanted to hear from us once a week. And what we've decided to do is that means we're really missing out on providing a lot of other content and things that we're seeing out actually in the field, things our clients are asking us that might be useful information for you. And we wanted to maybe leave some room to do some videos on that. So what we've decided to do is we are making these market videos bi-weekly instead of each week. And we're alternating back and forth between a whole market update and the first time buyer entry level market update, which is this one. So for example, next week, we will only do a whole market update. And the week after that, we will do a first time entry level buyer market update. And in kind of the second video slot, we're going to start doing some of these extra videos that we've wanted to do for a little while, talking about a couple of interesting topics, maybe sharing some unique and fun stories uh, that we're seeing out there in the field, um, and really trying to provide some extra value on that front, because I think that's what people really need right now. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Questions, comments, we love them. If you or someone you should know should be a homeowner but isn't, we would love to talk with you and help you. Uh, realize your dreams of homeownership. Uh, finally, questions, comments, we love them. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We will see you again real soon.